you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed a favor you have gained time and then you are a ruler and the Bible says he ran to Jesus and the moment he saw Jesus the Bible says he knelt down knelt down rich knelt down young with dominion over time and then knelt down even as a ruler over many and then very intelligent young man do you know what his question was he never said give me eternal life he said what shall i do he was a responsible person very responsible young man he didn't say give me he already knew that look life was a product of cause and effect he would not just sit down and assume he said i let me know my responsibility good master i acknowledge you even though i am a ruler even though i am rich even though i am young i am still humble and i am a learner because he called him master only a student will call another master look at this kind of young man if you had a brother or a son or a husband like this young man you would be happy for the rest of your life and yet this man came to jesus seeking something he did not have he said what shall i do that i may inherit eternal life in other words as far as this realm is concerned i have taken advantage of the knowledge that brings speed the knowledge that brings strength the knowledge that brings bread, the knowledge that brings riches, and the knowledge that brings favor. My concern is not within the realm. I have conquered this realm, and I did that fast. Now, I hear that there is an advantage beyond this realm, and I am aware that there are things that can happen in this realm that can destroy everything. So I now want to start investing in a realm higher than this. What must I do? What a young man. Pay attention you are learning something tonight how does a young man conquer this realm he demonstrated that you can gain time you can be rich you can have influence be a young man of integrity a cool-headed young man he would come and kneel down you know what it takes to kneel down when you have money you know what it takes to kneel down when you have influence you know what it takes to kneel down when you have an advantage of time and he said good master i acknowledge there is something you know that i do not know what must i do to inherit eternal life verse 18 i love this jesus said unto him why do you call me good there is none who is good but is but god you know what he's saying he's saying you cannot with respect to what you are saying you don't call any man good in other words you have discerned something about me that i'm not just an ordinary person you are dealing with matters of eternity and you are coming to me that means you acknowledge that i am god because you are calling me good 19. jesus now answered him and said all of these commandments you know them he tested him against the law and then the man replied verse 20 he said sincerely i will not lie to you and i don't mean to be proud i have observed this from my youth when a young man says i observed it from my youth how old was he when he started living it because as at the time he was talking with jesus he was still young even if you use the age of jesus to gauge him he was still within his studies and this man had conquered life and he was saying that i started that journey right from when i was a child and from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation are we together and so he told Jesus happily and convincingly that by the grace of God I have kept this 21 is where the problem starts Jesus beholding him loved him I love Jesus before he will lash out he will commend what you have done sincerely he looked at him and said truly I'm impressed really very impressed but here is my message tonight one thing thou lackest with speed
with strength with wisdom with understanding with skill alongside the supporting results showing and he comes to Jesus and Jesus said you have done everything well but there is one thing that you lack and look at what Jesus said I'm sure the man was attentive Wow me there is nothing I would lack that I cannot trade all these forces to get it so reveal to me Jesus said no if I tell you what you lack you will not believe it so I am going to use a test to reveal it to you I am going to put you through a situation right now that will reveal to you that you truly lack it are you ready for the test he says go thy way sell whatsoever thou has and give it to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven then when you are done come then take up your cross the cross and follow me 22 it's not his fault and he was sad at that saying for he went away very grieved what was the basis of his grief for he had great possession please follow this story remember where we started the race is not to the swift the battle to the strong here is a young man that passed our test that under normal circumstances you would look at there, there were few people in the Bible that were like that gentleman men like Joseph men like Daniel they excelled at a level and they were all young when that happened other people like Abraham, you know, they were idol worshippers for a long time. Abraham wasted over 75 years before he answered the call, struggled again till about 100 before he really started, you know, working purpose and so on and so forth. But here is a young man that met Jesus himself and the Bible called him rich. The Bible called him young. The Bible called him a ruler. And then Jesus began to probe him and even Jesus himself was impressed at the level and the extent to which he had taken advantage of the resources and the forces the laws of the kingdom to create an excelling life but he speaks to him and prophetically he speaks to a generation he says one thing thou lackest you do not lack speed clearly your result shows that you have it you do not lack wisdom you do not lack strength you do not lack understanding in fact you are skillful listen to me that young man that stood before jesus was not a person that young man was a generation a generation that for some reason had been able to maneuver their way through understanding to conquer life under normal circumstances that young man was a representation of a generation and he came and stood before Jesus you would think by the human standpoint this gentleman was flawless because generations past had a problem with speed generations past had a problem with strength generations past had a problem with wisdom generations past had a problem with understanding generations past had a problem with skill here is a generation that is a correction and an improvement of every other one standing rich young ruler if it is wealth we have found the principles and you see young people who are able to rise to positions of riches and wealth with the dignity of kingdom integrity today around the world you have young people who are teenagers and yet they have accomplished strides that people who it took people decades rich people who were able to gain time you will see a young man at 25 and he does not know what to do with his life again because the journey of 100 years he compressed it in 10 years and achieved everything he would have done in 100 years at 25 he's already a ceo of a global conglomerate at 25 he's already making impact across the world young young and then ruler influence influence such a young man
having tremendous influence. I can tell you how he became rich. I can tell you how he gained time. I can tell you how he became a ruler. That was an advantage of the forces in Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Don't ask him how he became wealthy. Don't ask him how he was able to gain time. Don't ask him how he was able to rise supernaturally. All of these results are controlled by these forces of advantage. Any man who sustains the knowledge that brings speed, stamina and capacity, wisdom, understanding and skill has gained that which tames life like a dog. So this generation with all the achievements and then responsible also you see attributes of character humility generations past suffered pride they had all these things but they were arrogant and when we learned from them we said we will correct it now the young man comes as a correction of many failures past believing that if he stood before jesus Jesus will say, wow, you are even talking of eternity. It means everything is fine. But now he says, you have kept all this. And I give you credit for it. But one thing thou lackest. And I'm not going to tell you. I will put you through a situation that will reveal to you by yourself the one thing that you lack. The Bible says he loved him. Do not forget. So he was not being sarcastic. This was a young man that had done commendably well. One thing thou lackest. He gave him two principal tests. Number one, go thy way and sell whatsoever thou hast. Do you know what that meant? To sell everything you have. Then when you get the money, he says give it to the poor he would have said give it to the state or give it to a global society that will recognize you and you can use your gift as a ladder to your influence now he's saying put all of that value and give it to the poor the poor do not have the capacity to tell you thank you they do not have the capacity to even reward you the poor sometimes because of mental bankruptcy may not even appreciate what you are doing he said give it to the poor then he says when you are empty come back to me and then take up the cross not your cross the cross and follow me and the man said what kind of man are you i already called you good master i came here respecting you you want to destroy and frustrate me the bible says he was grieved that statement revealed what was left that statement revealed what could cancel out the excellency of every other thing the Bible says, for he had great possession. His pain was not because of the absence of results. His pain was because of the excellency of results. Good master. Hallelujah. So the first test, let's deal with it, was sell what you have and give it to the poor. What exactly was Jesus trying to examine in that man? Number one was the heart condition. The heart condition. There was something about the heart of this young man. Even though dexterous in every sense of the word. Jesus looked through him and discerned the heart of that young ruler. Which represents the heart of a generation. Luke chapter 12 please. Give us from verse 16. The heart condition. Another parable that Jesus spake and told them that the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful say results jesus is teaching the parable of someone now another rich man who had results 17. the bible says and he thought within himself saying what shall i do because i have no room to bestow my fruits my goodness just think for one moment Crowds coming, church increasing, your name and your credibility rising. I do not even have room. I don't know where to store the fruits of these results happening. And here's what the man did, 18. He said, this is what I will do. I will pull down my bands and build greater. 
and I will bestow all my fruits and my goods. 19. It says, and I will say to my soul. You see the problem now? It was not the building, the tearing down and the building. But something was happening within his soul. Soul, thou hast much good laid up for many years. Take thy ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. 20. But God said to him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall these things be which thou hast provided? very 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 powerful the heart condition let's go to verse 31 let's jump for the sake of time go to verse 31 the bible says but rather seek ye the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added unto you uh-huh next verse it says fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Next verse. It says, sell all you have and give arms. Provide for yourself bags which wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that faileth not. Where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupted. Let's read verse 34 together. One, two, read. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also where your treasure is where your treasure is that is where your heart will be so you now see that the reason why the young man felt pain was that his heart was connected to that treasure so when jesus said give it all up listen jesus did not mean he didn't mean literally that you should go and sell everything it was a test to show him the condition that as much as he had achieved this unknown to him his heart had been connected to these things now you need to understand that this was not a bad gentleman this was not a lawless gentleman the finest of the breed within a generation and yet after going through the vetting system of jesus the conclusion of Jesus is that even you, the best and the greatest and the brightest, you are still found wanting. This is a message for a generation. That young man represented the finest within a generation. Commanded results in all spheres. Influence, anointing, grace, power, wisdom, and respect, honor for the fathers, the passion to still learn some more. I do not know about you but if I find a young man like this or if my life becomes like this I may give myself a little pat at the back and say well done you have done well your life is a worthy correction of the mistakes past but when he stands before Jesus Jesus says it is true you have done well but make no mistakes and don't be carried by pride there is something your success has done to you that you are not even aware of now let me test you and leave you with the verdict by yourself that something has happened to your heart by reason of your treasure the generations past something happened to their heart by reason of insufficiency by reason of lack of revelation by reason of ignorance and right now here comes a generation that is about to suffer because of abundance abundance of revelation abundance of the apostolic abundance of the prophetic abundance of wealth abundance of skill whoever told you that plenty does not destroy our focus as a generation has been to eradicate lack, spiritual lack, and so on and so forth. But we are about to make a mistake as a generation. We are, uh, we are becoming, as a people, the rich, young ruler. Beloved in Christ, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here too, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button. Also, I would want you to share this message across. I would want you to do one thing for us. Kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us. Kindly let us know. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season 
it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 